Are you thinking about moving to Missoula, Montana? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top six things that you need to do before moving to Missoula, Montana. Let's get after it right now. All right, the very first thing you need to do when you move to Missoula, Montana is give me a call, a text, or an email. Reach out to me so that I can guide you through this entire process. Now, when I moved my family of four across the country from DC to Western Montana, I did not have any resources. I didn't have a real estate agent to show me this neighborhood or that neighborhood. Um, I didn't have a YouTube channel like this one to drive around and show me what Missoula or the surrounding areas, like what it looks like, what it feels like. And yes, we did do a scouting trip, which was great for us to explore the area to decide if that's where we wanted to live. But ultimately, I was doing most of my research while I was still on the East Coast. And I only depended on, you know, the mommy blogs, which are just a bunch of people complaining, or like newspaper articles, which seem a little bit skewed. I wanted somebody like me somebody who's working in the field, has a family, like I wanted to know it all before I moved here. And even when we came on our scouting trip, I didn't know all the things. Like one of the questions was, um, where am I gonna host my kids' birthday parties when we move here, right? Like it seems so simple, but those little things will make or break your move right? So you will definitely want to reach out to me. Ask those questions. Like, yeah, you have a 10-year-old. Where can he sign up for soccer practice? Will that make the move for your 10-year-old a lot more tolerable? Will it make his experience in a new area much more pleasant for him and your entire family? You want to know those little things. Like where can your little girl take horseback riding lessons? Or where can she take a swimming lesson? Um, little things like that will make all the difference. And I am here to make those recommendations for you. Now, of course, you make the final decision, but I am here to steer you, to check out this league for a competitive football or this league for a competitive volleyball or check out this supermarket because it has cheaper fruits and vegetables than this supermarket. I would go to that supermarket because the meat seems to be more fresh than in that supermarket. So it's the little things that will make your move more pleasant because moving across the country Hell, moving in general sucks. And if I can make it just a pinch easier, then I will. Okay, I'm here for you. All right, reason number two on something you should absolutely do before moving to Missoula, Montana, or just Montana in general, or just moving in general, is get pre-qualified with a lender. Now, here in Missoula, the sellers are pretty strict. And if it's not the sellers, it's their listing agents. And they're pretty strict with requiring buyers agents to have pre-qualification letters from their buyers, which is just basically a stamp of approval piece of paper that a lender has checked all of your paperwork, all of your pay stubs, check your credit. Um, they check like a laundry list of things and they will work with you on an amount that you are able to afford on a monthly uh, basis. 
with the current interest rate, right? So getting that pre-qualification letter, getting in touch with a lender so that you can start having those conversations. Now, even if your credit score is uh, not the best, that's okay. Your lender and you and me, we can work together. There are different programs you can do. There are things things you can do to improve your credit score. And once I get that letter pre-approval on you qualify for X number of dollars for the purchase price and we want to keep it within this monthly budget, keeping in mind with the current interest rate or the HOA fees or any other um, taxes, taxes, don't forget taxes, and any other like smaller fees, we want to make sure that you are able to afford the home that you are going to purchase. So a pre-qualification letter is an absolute must. Now I partner with some amazing lenders that are not only local here to Missoula, but in Montana, they have lived here their entire lives. They've been in the mortgage industry for golly, forever and they know all the ins and outs. There are new programs coming up. There are new loans that you can apply for. And me, your lender, will all work together to make sure that you are comfortable with your monthly um, payments and overall purchase uh, price so that it's just a smooth transition for you, okay? Get pre-approved, that's number two. Thing number three that you must, must, must do before you move to Missoula, Montana, or Montana in general, or freaking move in general, is you need to set up some property searches with your real estate agent. Now, I know that there are tons of websites like Zillow and Realtor and Redfin and Trulia and all, all, all the apps. I get it. But those websites, now I actually learned this the hard way, so I might go off on a little tangent. Now, I had some buyers who reached out to me and they were like, I would, we would like to look at this house. And I was like, super duper, let me make an appointment for us to go on a showing. Well, I hopped into the MLS, the multiple listing service, and that house was no longer available even though it showed active on Zillow. So while Zillow is a great tool with, for like in the pinch, gotta look up something super quick. Now it is good for like a super quick reference. I wouldn't bank on it because Zillow does auto populate from the MLS, but it's not the newest data. It's not the like, let's just say a status change happened in the MLS. That means um, a home went from active to pending, a change in status. Zillow's not gonna pick that up for a couple hours, a day, two days. So you'll need to wait. Or you can get set up with me um, and we can set you up on a property search with the most up-to-date data and it also includes um, like the disclosure packets. Um, if you choose uh, a home with an HOA, we'll have the HOA packets so that you can read those in advance. Super important that you read the HOA documents in advance to make sure that you agree with all the rules that the HOA has in place. So it will include plots and surveys and any um, uh, a flood map um, any like let's say the roof is um, was just repaired it might have an invoice with um, what was repaired from the roof just things you can't get from Zillow right so and what's really nice about these property searches is they come automatic into your email daily and 
it's within your price range. So you tell me that you are looking for a home between 400 and 450. Uh, you want a minimum of half an acre, but you want no more than two acres and you wanna live in Missoula County. Super. I can set all of those parameters and all of that criteria and it will be hand delivered into your email some beautiful homes. And what's even better is that you can go in there and heart. I think this is how all the kids are doing hearts nowadays. I'm a millennial, so I'll do hearts like this. <laughs> You can go in and heart some properties that you really like so that when you come out to visit, we can actually go see them in person. Or you can say, no, Diana, I do not like this house. This does not fit. Well, even though it does fit your parameters, you just don't like literally whatever. Um, and you can make a note in that, in the, like, in the portal, in, so that we're sharing notes. Like, hey, Diana, I love this location. I love the flooring, but the layout is horrible. Next. So we can share that data so that we can narrow down the search. You see where I'm getting at? Okay. So let's set up some property searches so you can also see what's available or what's not available. Inventory is still relatively low in Missoula County and Ravalli County. So you'll get a sense, like, especially if you don't live here, if, if you're moving from out of state, especially across the country um, or from, you know, California, um, you can get a sense of what the real estate market is here in Missoula. So getting set up on these property searches and we can always change anything. We can change anything, okay? So like first, if you get pre-approved, um, just you, and then you're like, mm -mm, I wanna add my wife to get pre-approved together, and then you wanna increase your budget because then your pre-approval comes up higher, A-okay, we can do that. And then I can set up your, or change your property searches to reflect whatever your budget is. So, property searches. Let's do it. You can get a feel for the real estate market here in Missoula, Montana. It's spicy. <laughs> Number four. Now this is a big one. If you are going to move to Missoula, Montana, Montana in general, or just moving in freaking general, okay, you absolutely must visit, 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 visit come to visit. From wherever you are, come to visit. So if you're in Missoula, you will want to fly in to the Missoula airport. And I have talked about the Missoula airport, so if you haven't checked out that video, I will link it right above here. Watch it after this one, okay? But the Missoula airport is so precious. Um, and it will dump you right in the middle of Missoula, Montana. And then you will want to schedule at least three days here. Um, there's a lot to drive around. Highly suggest just driving with a map. And like, yeah, this neighborhood looks like it could be fun. I can see my kids um, <clears throat> playing on the playground or I love this cul-de-sac. It seems so quiet here. Um, I would love to see my kids you know, riding their bikes or riding their little strider thingies, um, their like balance bikes, um, or maybe that's not your jive, or maybe you like the homes closer together, or maybe you like the homes really far apart. Um, just drive around and then take in the beauty that is um, Missoula County and Ravalli County. It's so beautiful here. Just take it all in. And when you come on your visit, we will meet. I actually just had some buyers come in from California and they just came to explore and I met them at the brewery and we had a beer and some pizza and we were just talking about life in general, real estate, Missoula, California, and it was a blast to get to know them. So when you come on a visit, 
come to meet me, come to explore, and then if you narrow that down a bit or we've done some property searches, then we can go look at some homes together. And if you're really excited and you're ready to make an offer, must have that pre-qualification letter. If you are ready, Freddie, I am ready to write that offer for you and get you into the home of your dreams. So come on a property tour. And once you've scheduled the dates, let me know so I can put it on my calendar too to make sure that I'm available to come have a beer and some pizza with you. And I will send you, it's, I have a relocation packet and a buyer's packet. And in there, it's like chock full of information, like super awesome information, all about Missoula, of course, all about the buying process, but also has recommendations for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, snacks, things to do with kids, things to do without kids, things for younger couples, older couples, retirees, lots of things for you to do and some places that you'll definitely want to hit. And no matter what age you are, what lifestyle you live, you absolutely must check out Rockin' Rudy's. It is the coolest store I've ever been to in my entire life. So no matter what, you gotta go there. And that's just all I have to say about that. You'll just have to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> and once you go there, you'll completely understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just trust me on that one. Just go there. All right. And the fifth thing that you need to do before moving to Missoula, Montana is going under contract on a home. So you have reached out to me, you have contacted a lender, gotten a pre-approval letter, you have come to visit and you have narrowed down the neighborhood, well, you've narrowed down the county to Missoula County or Ravalli County, you have narrowed down the neighborhood, you have narrowed down to a specific house and you are ready to put in an offer and go under contract. Now doing this and then going back to your home where you, the other state you came from and then packing up all your things, planning a timeline, putting maybe that home up for sale and no matter where you are in the United States, that includes Alaska and Hawaii, all in part of the United States, right? No matter where you are, and if you need to sell your home to move to Missoula, Montana, I will hook you up with a real estate agent in your local market that is hot and ready, and they are an expert in your area. And having that conversation early on and just meeting with a local agent so that they can give you an idea. Hey, I think I can sell your home for X price. That way you can have a better idea of how much you can put down on your house here in Missoula. So having those conversations early, you don't know a, real, a local real estate agent, I got you. Reach out to me, let me be that resource for you, okay? So you're under contract, right? You'll potentially need to sell your home or if you're renting, you will need to let your landlord know when you are going to move out. You'll need to um, prepare with a moving company. I highly suggest using a moving company unless you're like a young buck and can move all the things and not hurt your back. I'm jealous of you but you'll need to prepare a moving company and like, like all the things. And I'll be there to help you and to remind you along the way. Now, let's say that you don't go under contract during your visit. Totally fine. You just haven't found the right police. Now, what we can do is that once you go back to your state, wherever you come from, we can do 
virtual showings. So you say, hey, Dinah, I absolutely love this house in Stevensville, Montana, which is about 30, 40 minutes south of Missoula, right? You absolutely love the land. You absolutely love the pictures online. And you're like, I want to see that house. I got you. We could do a FaceTime, we could do a Zoom, we could do Google Meets, we can do any kind of video. I can take a tour and video as best as possible. And we can do a virtual visit, a virtual showing, so that you can see a home, even though you might be thousands of miles away. That's okay. I have done so many virtual showings, virtual under contract, virtual closings. Like You don't even have to be in Missoula during closing. We can send a notary to your home address and you can sign all the paperwork in your pajamas in your own home. And we can, and if you're not ready to move on your closing date, that's okay. <laughs> sixth thing, sixth thing that you want to do before you move to Missoula or Montana in general is if you are under a contract on a home, do not, I beg you, do not purchase anything. <laughs> now, what do I mean? Don't buy a car. Mm -mm. Don't take out any lines of credit. That means don't get a TJ Maxx card, credit card. Don't go to Shields and get a credit card. Don't go to best buy and get a credit card do not have your credit pulled by anyone except your lender do not accept large amounts of money and just like dump it into your bank account three days before closing don't do that don't quit your job don't change jobs, don't change positions, just keep it steady. Don't go out of the country where you don't have any cell service or internet service and where we can't get in touch with you. Don't go on a cruise. That's a good one. Don't, um, so going back to don't buy a car, that, that seems obvious, right? but um, don't co-sign for somebody else to buy a car. <sighs> don't make any big purchases. Don't buy furniture for your new home. Don't buy appliances for your new home. Don't do any of that. Because all of those things are true stories <laughs> that I mean, I don't know how much, how much time we have in this YouTube video, but those, I tell you those things because they have happened while buyers are under contract and it had to delay closing or completely cancel it and they weren't able to move at all. And I don't want that for you, especially if you're already paying thousands of dollars to a moving company or if you've already sold your home in your last state, you have a lot on the line. So if you don't close on time, that moves the timelines around and that can get very dicey. Um, or you're going to be spending more money to get back on the timeline and it's, just trust me when I tell you, don't, if you're not sure, ask your lender. Ask your lender. Ask me and I can ask your lender. Ask me and I can put you on a three-way call, a three-way text, a three-way email. If you're not sure if this is a large enough purchase, um, it has happened. So. so those are the six things that you should do or don't do. No, you want to do. Six things you want to do before moving to Missoula, Montana. If you're finding value in this video, then go ahead and give that like and subscribe button a click. That way I can bring more of Missoula's charm to you. And if you haven't done so already, please leave me a comment down below. 
Did I miss anything? What are some other things to keep in mind during a big move, especially if you're moving across the country, across state lines? These are big moves. What, what am I missing here? What else should you or should you not do before a move? I wanna make sure that the subscribers and the viewers of this video are well prepared and feel empowered to make the best decisions possible. So let's continue this conversation down in the comments below. My name is Diana Filkins with Living in Missoula, Montana. I get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you seeking assistance with their move to Missoula or the surrounding areas. And I would be absolutely honored to help you and your family make a smooth transition here to Missoula or the surrounding areas. So give me a call, text, email, whatever you prefer. Um, I will be the one that responds right to you. And um, until next time, take care.